morning. <laughs> oh, it's a bit chilly this morning, eh, folks? <laughs> oh, well, it finally looks like I'm getting somewhere, doesn't it? Uh, made some serious progress on this, on this living room, what do you think? So, got the unit back in the living room where it belongs, and I think it's not perfect. I don't think I can smell it, but I think I can taste it just a little bit. That's very strange. Maybe it's my taste buds playing tricks on me. Maybe it's psychological. Um, but I have a living room. Yeah, feeling good. Actually, feeling a little bit emotional. Got, got, I created a living room <laughs> out of like a wreck of a room. And uh, yeah, no, feeling, feeling good. So, what I'm thinking with the uh, unit is I've got some beeswax which I used uh, on my kitchen units, do you remember? And uh, I could give it a coat of that. Uh, you can you can put beeswax on uh, paint, especially sandy paint. Um, I'm not quite sure. Have you, have you anyone done that before? Before I go <laughs> smearing wax all over it and ruin it. Um, I don't want to make it shiny. Um, but yeah, that might seal it and make it a little bit better. What do you think? Uh, I've just uh, had a little wander down, say hello to Dave, give him an apple. He's waiting patiently in my uh, in my paddock. Morning, David. How did you cope last night? Pretty cold, wasn't it, mate, eh? So last night, about six o'clock, it was just getting dark. It was absolutely freezing. I thought it was about minus four, minus five last night, I think. And um, I thought, I'll come down, and he was here. <laughs> and, I, and I ran him round back up to the shelter and I threw an apple in there for his evening tea thinking that he might actually stay in the shelter for a little while and appreciate you know the change in temperature but he was a lunatic we walked all the way back up he was running around like a spaniel he was a lunatic he was and uh yeah I just get, he just gets so excited he scares the life out of me to be honest um yeah not quite sure what to make of his um strange behavior I need to give your eye a wipe I don't think I've got a tissue with me um, but uh, yeah, no, his eye is better. So uh, I'll just give him an apple. So yeah, just want to say a big thank you to everyone that's helped me with my living room project. It's taken forever, isn't it? Um, but yeah, all your help, all your support, I don't think I could have done it without you, honestly. I look at everything in the room I think, oh yeah, I couldn't have done. I couldn't have bought that without there. I couldn't have bought that without. There. Fantastic subscribers, honestly, you are absolutely amazing. So, can I have a little chat. Uh, I was going to wander down to my uh, nature reserve, but I can't be dealing with Dave running around like a lunatic around me. Especially he seems I'm holding the camera. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about my um, channel. You know, I suggested the idea that maybe I will start another channel. Well, I'm still thinking about that idea. Uh, Mainly because I'll try and put a, I try and put a picture of my uh, Google Analytics up or YouTube Analytics up. Um, so yeah, things are not great from the YouTube point of view, and and I'm kind of thinking the advertisers don't like this walking and talking kind of thing, which is understandable. Um, even though I've got lots more subscribers and get lots more views, um, the advertisers they probably think, yeah, now what do we advertise? I'm interested. No, actually. What adverts you're getting now i know you did tell me a few months ago i'd be interested to know what sort of adverts you get now so i'm thinking maybe i should keep this channel for walking and talking and uh, start another channel for projects you know uh, definitely going to be working outside more uh, definitely as spring comes and it starts to get a bit warmer got hundreds of things to do and like think about animals and enclosures fencing uh, you know, you name it, there's just hundreds of jobs to do. And it might be interesting to sort of just have a channel devoted to that. So I'm not quite sure of the complexities of trying to run two channels, um, but I'm definitely thinking about it. Yeah, let me know what you think. I know you did uh, sort of give me a few pointers about having another channel, uh, but now I've explained it a little bit better. Maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. I do like to uh, do this um, daily chat thing. I think there's something to be said, especially when you're on your own, um, but being able to download your brain every day. Uh, 
there's some definitely some uh, mental health benefits there um, yeah, I was thinking about that lady who's decided to not to make her YouTube videos anymore she did a vlog I don't know it was a daily vlog but she did a vlog and I think she'll feel the effects of that because I think she was able to speak her mind even though not everyone appreciated it not everyone appreciates what I say um, but I think she'll miss not having that opportunity to download and I think if you if you did have a channel <laughs> and you decide not to use it anymore I think I think you're missing out I think you'll miss out and you'll realize that you know I do need to do this or I do like to do this this is good for me I did watch a um, a better ideas video that's a good channel go, uh, go and check it out better ideas um, and he said something similar he said uh, don't have things in your mind write them down or download them and then you keep your mind clear and it's a really good way of looking after your mind and your mental health uh, I don't really have mental health issues I have had in the past when I lost my son to New Zealand and uh, you know through various breakups and uh, losing my my mum when she died you know you go through bad periods don't you but you know I'm, I'm quite lucky that I don't have you know mental health problems I just kind of understand human nature a little bit more than I used to and I don't have to have a problem dealing with that sort of stuff so yeah so I've got a, an idea for the um, chicken coop or la poulet or, uh, can I just say la poulet I know it's not the right pronouncement right pronouncement <laughs> Is that the right? Is that even a word? Pronouncement. Pronunciation. <laughs> dear, oh dear. Um, yeah, uh, got an idea for perhaps. See, looking at the looking at this side, there's no gutter, and there's three sections on that building. I think the section on the left is actually an addition, a later addition. Anyway, there's so there's three sections of roof with a metal roof in the middle and none of it really lines up and I'm thinking about maybe I should put a porch or like a shelter along the front like a long veranda type porch thing um, and that way I can actually fit a gutter and I'd be able to collect water off the entire roof and I think that might be quite a good idea considering I've got no running water um, like in the orchard or on the or, uh, you know on the farm at all and uh, yeah so that might be quite a good idea it might be quite an interesting project uh, I'm trying to sort of timetable projects and uh, I think yeah it's gonna be tricky because it's freezing cold now and I've got the gutter to try and fix the back of the chicken coop but it's so cold I don't want to be doing it while it's so cold and messing about with plastics and mastics when it's freezing cold and concrete and things like that completely impossible but the problem is what I've already noticed here is autumn and spring are quite short i think autumn was about 20 minutes long <laughs> do you know what i mean so you kind of you're working in weather the thing about france or the thing about this part of france i've noticed there's always weather whereas in the uk we get used to get days and days and days of no weather it was just meh do you know what I mean? And there's a reason everyone wants to get to the UK and they get in their little dinghies and they, and they paddle across the channel because you could do a day's work in the UK pretty much every single day of the year. Uh, not so much in France, do you know what I mean? It's like scorching hot for quite a lot of the time and then freezing cold or pouring with rain quite a lot of the time. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to have to try and timetable jobs um, around the weather. Um, yeah got lots lots of jobs lined up I want to do I want to paint the extension and I wanted to do that in autumn but that 20 minute window of getting it done uh, yeah no it didn't happen I think I was streaming the um, uh, nature reserve uh, during that period let me know what you think about the, uh, the second channel idea now and uh, I'll see you soon